Well, a local business has raised nearly $20,000 for an area of nonprofits and charities giving back to the community is Palmetto Paint PC's main focus, and now they're celebrating five years of doing it. These are teams Chloe Spark joining us live from inside the paint studio. Chloe, how's your artwork looking? Kelsey, I wish that I could give you better news. It's going though. It's my scarecrow is turning a little bit more into a mermaid, but that's okay because <laughs> Alex over here, Alex Butler, the co-founder of Palmetto Paint PC, is going to help me try to fix it up a little bit. We'll get it there. Yeah, we'll get it there. <laughs> well, Alex, we want to know what was it like getting this business started? You guys are coming up on a five-year anniversary. It was, it was def definitely difficult and challenging. Uh, five years ago, we wanted to host a class to raise money for a local veterans organization, and we had to find easels and canvases and paintbrushes, and you don't realize how much goes into this. So we kind of scrapped up some money, and we were begging people to help us out, and then we just realized, you know, this is something that if we try hard enough, you know, enough blood, sweat, and tears that we could, we could figure it out, and it's definitely been a long journey. We started doing traveling paint classes, uh, begging people to let us use their space. We taught classes in gyms and coffee shops at Dillard's all over town. And then finally last year, we were able to make the leap to have a studio. That's awesome. Well, okay, so tell me, how would you tell one of the people taking your classes mm -hmm. how to fix something like this? So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna <laughs> do with yours is we gotta add some arms. We gotta see what we're working with. And then we just have to decide what you want your end goal to be because yours is not gonna look like mine. Mine is not gonna look like JD's. And it's not gonna look like the, the sample painting. So we really just have to figure out what you want it to look like and we'll go from there. Awesome. Well, yeah, JD is the other co-founder, and I'm going to rat him out. He started over. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I'm doing better than he is, you at are. least. You see? You at least you're going with it. You want to fix it. You didn't just grab a new canvas. Here we go. I'm going to start painting these arms, okay. just like you said. Yep. Just a straight line like yeah. that. Yep. And then as long as you just make them a little thicker, and yeah, there you go. See? At, we can add some fingers to it, little scarecrow hands, and we'll get it there. Well, I kind of <laughs> feel like whenever I'm in a rush like this, it's kind of looking better. So you're not overthinking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I well, I appreciate the help. And coming up here at the 6 o'clock show, we will have made even more progress. So if you want to see how my little mermaid slash pigtail <laughs> thing <laughs> turns out, you'll want to come back for that. Back to you guys. All right, thanks a lot, Chloe. Well, let's take it out some.